Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we have a spooky creator sim video with me doing the one base five Halloween costume challenge. So we have five very unique different Halloween costumes. We have some cutesy ones, we have some more spooky, gory, gross ones. And at the end, I couldn't decide which ones I preferred the most because they're all super cool in their own ways. And just so you know, all of the custom content items that I use in this video for all five of the costumes will be linked in the description on my Patreon. And yeah, I'm just going to be talking you through some of these costumes very briefly, also talking about some upcoming content on the channel. At the time of posting this, this is a couple of days before the new Life and Death expansion pack, and I'm super, super excited for it. I'm going to be doing a stream on the 30th of October, so a day after I post this. So if you're watching this early on from when I post it, make sure to come along and say hi on that. But yeah, our first sim is a killer Barbie or like a possessed demonic Barbie. And it's, I guess it's kind of like a mix between like the cutesy and the gory because it's Barbie, but then she's like a demon. So yeah, I tried to go for that. I probably spent the longest on her because she was like my first sim of the day. And I'm not sure if anyone else feels like this, but when I'm first starting with my first sim out of like five or six sims or four sims or three sims, it usually takes me the longest on the first because I'm just trying to like find my bearings in general. But I feel like her costume is pretty cool. And yeah, I tried to go for like more of like a princess Barbie, as you will see when I'm going through the sim. I tried to go for more like a princess Barbie rather than like a Malibu or like a modern Barbie, just kind of the Barbie that people would have had in like their childhood. And yeah, I thought Barbie would be fun because Barbie is a very iconic character in pop culture, a very iconic topic, subject, world, I don't know. So I thought it'd be really cool to just try and do like a spooky take on her. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with the Barbie sim. Let me know what you guys think of Barbie in general. Are you a Barbie fan? Do you not like Barbie? Did you watch the Barbie movie last year? I did. I really liked it. And yeah, also I was considering doing like a Margot Robbie Barbie, but then I was like, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> just because it is like the one base challenge. So like I can't really make her look like Margot Robbie. So I just tried to make my own Barbie and I thought that'd be fun. And yeah, who doesn't love a demonic Barbie? But sim number two is Jessica Rabbit. I love Jessica Rabbit. I love Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's one of my favorite like cartoon films. And yeah, it's timeless. I think it's really well done. Love Jessica Rabbit. She's such an icon. And I really had an issue with making her brows look, look kind of like how they do. Um, but I think the hair, the dress, the dress isn't exactly the same as like um, Jessica's dress. It doesn't have the slit in the front. But nonetheless, I did try to make her look as close to Jessica Rabbit with the base as possible. And yeah, I feel like she looks amazing. The dress really, the dress and the hair really carry the outfit. I had a lot of fun with the makeup too, the purple shadow, the red lip. And yeah, I actually was surprised how minimalistic Jessica's look is because I was expecting to have to add like a lot of jewelry and like she does have earrings, but I thought there was no point in adding them since her hair covers them in the CC version. But yeah, I actually was surprised. There's not a lot of accessories. It's very simple, but yeah, still very iconic. But yeah, Jessica Rabbit, in my opinion, is like a 10 out of 10. I really just love Jessica Rabbit. Even if you guys don't like my version, I do just because I love it. I just love her. But yeah, sim number three, I wanted to go for like more of a gory, spooky 
look and I feel like this is probably the spookiest look obviously because it's like more gory and it's Frankenstein's daughter so I got this really cool makeup set um, which is also linked in the CC list and it really makes her look like Frankenstein and I feel like that's a really cool detailed Halloween costume and yeah I went for the more black and white traditional look some fishnets um, a really cute dress the makeup I really went all out with the makeup I thought the kiss mark was really cute um, I don't know why I just thought it really suited it I like the kind of like romantic element of it and then I also was considering adding plasters or band-aids as some of you guys call them but I couldn't find a color that matched and I wasn't really like I wanted to stick with a color scheme I wish there was like a black or like a plain white or even like a green kind of plaster but yeah I couldn't find that and then I had to of course add like a really cute choker as you guys will see and yeah I feel like this one actually came together a lot more quickly just because I feel like with Frankenstein it's much more like interpretive like you can just have fun with it the color schemes were pretty simple and yeah I had a lot of fun with Frankenstein's daughter oh my god my throat is so dry I had to drink loads of water I feel like whenever I speak for more than three minutes straight my throat just closes up and I just can't speak anymore it's like so bad But yeah, sim number four is a mummy. So I wanted to go for like a really cutesy mummy look because the mummy costume I have is more of like a sexy mummy, I guess, um, or more of like a Halloween night out. Maybe not a night out mummy because I feel like even on a night out, that would be very like, you know, that'd be crazy. Who's going on a night out in the costume she's going to be wearing? But you kind of get the image. It's more of a cutesy, like fashion-y mummy, I guess. I really love the hair that I used for this sim. I feel like it looks really cute. I love the makeup, the darker makeup, the white alien eyes by Praline. I did make a video of Praline CC the other day, so check that out because that's where I got these eyes. Also for Frankenstein's eyes and I think there was another, I think that was, oh yeah, Barbie's eyes as well. I got them all from Praline. And yeah, very simple for the mummy look. I like the kind of dead zombie look and very simple. I like the jewelry as well, the gold nose ring and the earrings. Um, super super cute. I love what I did with that if I may say so myself. I really like it Then for the final sim, I decided to go for more like a cutesy, simple Halloween costume. I feel like the average Halloween costume, but it's not really that simple because it's actually a really cute costume. So yeah, the last costume is a witch and yeah, I feel like it looks super cute. I went for like a purple vibe. The makeup looks amazing. I like the little purple streak in the hair. Um, I feel like this is kind of like a casual girl just going out for Halloween, but it's a very well done costume. The hat and the dress are by Madeline, and yeah, Madeline makes the best CC. I love their CC. Um, and yeah, I went for like a little dusty purple lilac lavender look, and I feel like it looks super cute. It's very fashionable. I feel like it does give kind of like Victorian witch a little bit, almost kind of like it would be like a hand-me-down or like a DIY, like fancy, like dress or something. It also kind of reminds me of Hermione's dress from the Yule Ball in Harry Potter. I don't know why, but something about it does. I feel like it's because it's very puffy. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy the Halloween costumes that I did for these Sims. Remember, the CC list is in the description, so make sure to check out my Patreon and subscribe if you're new if you enjoyed the video and leave a like because it really helps out the channel. And a reminder, this is the last couple of days of my Life and Death Expansion Pack giveaway, so that will also be linked in the description. As I said, I will be doing an early access stream on the 30th of October, so come and say hi, join that if you want to see all of the new features in the expansion pack, and basically watch me explore the pack for the very first time. But thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you very soon with another Sims 4 video. Bye!